Uh, Phil, Phil, are you suggesting that perhaps the auditor should make an adverse comment on the uh, audit? I'm, I'm not a CPA. I'm just a selectman and uh, representative of the Budget Committee bringing up uh, a point that um, um, was uh, not fully articulated. So not an adverse point, then? I, I, I don't consider that uh, um, professional data accounting or uh, budgeting. No, I don't. Oh, that's very, very interesting. Because I was a little concerned, and, and this kind of dovetails, I recognize that, but <coughs> I, know, I seem to recall that we had bids come in, as we do annually, for the auditing firm that we used, and the Board of Selectmen chose to go with the middle bid, not the low bid, presumably to stay with the constant, the same auditor we have year after year after year. And perhaps if we had a different auditor, maybe we would have had a different opinion on that. Uh, that being so, said, that being said, thank you very much, Madam Chair. Thank you. Do we have Do we have an audit finality coming soon? Final audit? Yes. Report? Yes. And do we have a date that that'll be available? Hopefully, very soon. That's there. We were We were working to get all of our fixed assets. That's what the holdup on the audit is. Getting all of that so that we can be compliant with GASB 34, which I believe was an adverse opinion of the auditors last year. Uh, and we are trying to get, make that disappear. And so we have done a lot of work to become um, compliant with GASB 34. So that's kind of what's been holding it up. We've run into some software glitches and um, okay, things so like that because our software company has fixed assets, but no one has been brave enough to use it. And I was lucky to take that on. And, uh, I think I have put my part of it to bed as of last week, I believe. And now the, I spoke with Scott um, at Plaza yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. And um, we should have, they, he was finishing up his review of all of the information. So should we perhaps see that mid month? I would say yes. We hope so. Yeah. Just so we all understand that the reason the center bid was taken mm -hmm. was that the low bidder was taken basically our estimate was the finance department would have to be shut down for two weeks in order to do the audit hmm. there was a lot of retraining it would have to go on with the uh, new owner they were like 180 hours we'd have to learn our system field. we'd have to yeah. show it to them well they they, they have a different process not yeah. shut down so but the, the bid was not on the same process then, apparently. that's correct it was it was much more intensive um, so they, they didn't meet the bid specific the bid specifications or our bid specifications weren't specific enough the bid specifications are fairly broad so we, we try to get bids uh -huh. but we we tell them they have to explain what the process is and what they need for time uh -huh. and our that's current it. auditors are here for two or three days uh, they do some pre-audit uh, periodically for a month or so before they arrive and uh, they finish up and there there's always additional things they need from the state of the town yeah. as, so the as the process of the state is more of a hybrid of a bid for a request for proposal and a request for bid it's kind of a hybrid of those two it is a hybrid yeah okay thanks okay all right moving on